Hello everyone and welcome to another webinar brought to you by Razzly Security. I'm Ellie Spitz, VP of Business Development at Razzly and in this webinar I'll present you with a short overview of the iSecurity suite of security, auditing and compliance solutions in just seven minutes. Some of the driving forces behind the need for security auditing and compliance are listed here. Not only auditors' demands and compliance regulations, but also the fact that corporate executives want to keep their company's name out of the newspaper. So here are some facts about iSecurity. It's a single suite of integrated products, all developed at Razzly with a single look and feel, which fits all vertical markets. Indeed, we have customers worldwide in banking, insurance, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, retail, and more. And some of our clients have nearly 200 systems in LPARs, working with our products. iSecurity addresses infrastructure security, that is, it protects your AS400 from malicious network access. It monitors and reports on your QAuditor journal system journal. It manages user profiles and replicates them between systems. It allocates temporary high user authorities, providing a full audit trail of user activities, including even recording screen images iSecurity also focuses on application security. It makes sure that business critical data changes only in the range that you've defined and otherwise it can issue real-time alerts to relevant managers. You can even report on someone who looks at, that is someone who reads data they're not allowed to view. And all iSecurity solutions use the same report generator and alerting capabilities making iSecurity easy to learn and easy to use. So what are some of the differentiators of iSecurity? Well, ease of use is exactly what we provide, thanks to our full GUI and green screen interfaces. I mentioned reporting, so it's important to know that we provide literally hundreds of reports and even compliance checklists, which can, in most cases, be run with no changes at all to the report definitions. Our products have been designed to optimize performance using synchronous and asynchronous processing, and other methodologies. And finally, we always try to answer to our customers' specific requirements. Here's an overview of the iSecurity suite of solutions. From the left, the drivers behind security, auditing, and compliance are here. We provide a full security assessment, which is free of charge, solutions in the areas of auditing, protection, and databases, and finally, some solutions for evaluating our state of auditing and protection. Let's look at our audit product. Audit reads entries from the QAuditor journal regarding users, authorities, and objects. Audit can include current status information regarding user profiles, system values, and active jobs. It can initiate real-time alerts via our action product. It can write information to our own audit files for long-term storage and for report generation. And it can actually feed our data warehouse business intelligence tool called Visualizer so that you can look for the needle in the haystack, that is, the event which happened at a certain time and a certain date and which you'd like to investigate. We'll skip our action solution for now and go on to our firewall solution. Our firewall solution is not a, an external uh, firewall as our other products on the market. Rather, the iSecurity firewall protects the AS400 from access from the network, from PCs, from laptops, uh, which access the AS400, whether it's from the office or from home or from the road or from wherever. And some of the firewall criteria that we implement in our solution relate to IP address, to the user who initiated the request, to the verb which was used in order to access the data, the file access, the library, the object, and more. Authority on Demand. Authority on Demand is a product which uh, provides a full audit trail when someone requests special authority on an emergency basis. The product has three stages, the definition stage, the emergency stage, and the auditing stage. At the definition stage, we define who are the potential providers of higher authority, the rules, the details of actually providing the higher authority, whether we're adding higher authority to an existing user profile or swapping to a user such as QSEC offer. 
notification rules, as well as the conditions for when this rule could be implemented. A person who requests production authority, for example, at a certain point in time, and of course there are auditors who check very, very closely, providing the audit trail that we provide, uh, exactly what the person with higher authority did in order to ensure that they did not exceed their, their rights. AP Journal, Application Journal, I mentioned earlier application security, we can send alerts when the interest rate or some other value changes by more than 0.2%. We can actually know who modified a certain table overnight or during vacation. We can uh, de determine who are the users who are not managers, who actually viewed confidential data which is, of course, very, very important because when someone looks at, views uh, confidential data, that too is a security breach. And what changes were made to the bank's production libraries via non-application utilities? This is a SOX-mandated requirement. In the area of evaluation, our compliance evaluator product produces reports color-coded reports such as these. This is a summary report saying that on System 720, our status of compliance with our benchmark is 65%. On this system, on the production system, it's 89%. These figures are broken down into different categories, again, which are color-coded. And the system administrator will receive a report such as this one, which will point out exactly what the problem was which led to the 40% ranking for user profile attributes. In this case, user profiles with all object authority, the current value is 7, but the optimal value is no greater than 5. Our Compliance Evaluator product. Visualizer. Here on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see our uh, GUI navigator tree. What we're looking at here on this these two-thirds of the screen, we're looking at the Q-Audit Journal records as uh, they were built into a data warehouse by Visualizer. We've filtered the millions of Q-Audit Journal records by date, by users, Alex, test, etc., by IP address, by program, and we're actually looking at the entry types, and here are the different entry types which answer to these filter conditions. And if we're interested, for example, in looking at objects which were moved or renamed, this particular event on one of these days by one of these users, we would drill to the data in order to obtain, to retrieve the actual Q audit journal record, and we can, we can uh, then set a detection rule so that the next time this event happens, the user will be caught. Finally, syslog SNMP for SIEM solutions. Our products, we, these, these are the, uh, the companies that we, that we integrate with, RSA Tivoli, IBM, Q1 Labs, McAfee, etc., HP OpenView, ArcSight. So from the IBM I, our products are down here on the IBM I, and using syslog, we integrate with all these different products sending out real-time security-related re alerts to various SIEM and DAM, DAM, Database Activity Monitoring Products. This can also be seen in our Action Module, which I'll now return to, from our various modules, Solutions, Audit, Firewall, Critical OS uh, Operating System uh, Messages, our Application Security Product and Authority on Demand, we send real-time alerts. Again, via syslog, via email, message queue, uh, text messages to mobile phones, and we can even execute command language scripts. This has been a short overview of the iSecurity suite. You can reference any of our uh, resources relating to iSecurity from this uh, slide. If you ask me for, the, uh, for this presentation, I can send it to you. Please send me an email to marketing at rasley.com. Feel free to visit our website, and I hope you've enjoyed this short overview of iSecurity. Have a great day.